It's time to talk about writing poetry now. Uh, poetry is a slightly a different form of writing as compared to other uh, piece, pieces of creative writing. It involves uh, some music and rhythm. And poems are usually made up of lines of, lines of words uh, that do not usually reach the far side of the page. Uh, the words which are involved in, in poetry or how they are involved in poetry uh, create a lot of music. Uh, words themselves uh, possess some, uh, some kind of music because they are made of syllables. Syllables themselves are made up of some uh, sounds, short and long sounds. When they're combined, they, they regenerate. Uh, their combinations generate and regenerate music. Also depends how somebody sounds them. Poetry is like hearing your own nature because uh, it is more natural an art as we are sometimes asked to believe in it. It, it is sometimes portrayed as a very difficult uh, and different art from reality, but it is actually is very closer to our, our nature. Uh, and we, we are usually uh, quite tempted to read it or to listen to it uh, or to appreciate the musicality which is involved in, in a piece of poetry. Uh, lines in our poetry are usually uh, the units of time and these units of time operate with uh, the rhythm of the language in which it is being written uh, and, and the beat of our species and of our own selves. So uh, we have music in ourselves which is reflected in the poetry. So, so that's why poetry may be, may be considered uh, as more natural form of creative writing. Uh, and for these reasons, Hago suggests uh, how we feel about ourselves uh, may color how we write poetry. So uh, poetry, as I said a while ago, is a reflection of our own selves. Inside poetry, uh, when somebody writes poems or if you try your pen uh, in, in this sphere of writing, you will, you will find that, uh, that while writing poetry, uh, one observes more deeply, uh, he hears, uh, sees, and uh, feels every word or every punctuation marks which, uh, which he uses while writing. So poetry is... Uh, somehow a spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings which one uh, pens down after going through that experience. Uh, some poets write to uh, pen down some important moments of their life or some uh, small moments of their life which may appear insignificant to others but their own feeling uh, and expression make it special and look like, uh, uh, and make it look special to others as well. And they may be based on some ordinary perceptions sometimes. Observation and memory are key to writing uh, of a piece of poetry, as we can see that the character and story are to fiction. So memory and observation are very important, and they have been... Uh, important strengths of all successful poets in the world. Uh, poems usually try to create a small world which is always uh, recreated uh, every time when a, when a new reader uh, recites a poem and uh, try, tries to get meaning out of it. Uh, poetry also awakens the language because the various combination in which a language is used or words are used within a piece of poetry in order to create music and, uh, and make new meanings uh, that gives new life or new combination, combinations to the language. Uh, that's why it, it make, we can say that it makes language live again and again because it, it generates new combinations of the old words. 
words are sticky with, with history, uh, and it has they have established meanings and associations, but as I said, uh, they are uh, recreated into new combinations in, in, in various pieces of poetry. Uh, poetry also shapes language uh, in a way that uh, the way a poet chooses some words to be combined, uh, it, it gives new shape uh, or sometimes new meaning to th those words. And words may be used sometimes figuratively and not in their literal meanings, and sometimes with strange combinations for the sake of freedom. So uh, this, this makes language uh, live time and again. And the, how we combine words in, in a piece of poetry also uh, shapes and reshapes the expectations of our readers as well. For example, a sonnet shape uh, sets up quite different expectations from uh, from a haiku, uh, which is which is a different piece of uh, poetic writing. Similarly, a 39-line uh, sestina uh, tastes quite different to a terza rima uh, of the same length. So, different sense of forms, different uh, styles of uh, poetry writing may develop different expectations among their readers. Uh, one of those is uh, free verse, uh, which is an important form of uh, writing, uh, poetry writing in various languages. Free verse is, uh, uh, is generally considered to be free of everything, but there is nothing uh, free about free verse. It is generally uh, believed that free verse uh, believes in, in the freedom from the traditional fixed patterns of uh, meter and rhyme. But it still involves a lot of uh, poetic, uh, involves a lot of poetic elements. For example, alliteration, imagery, uh, figures of speech, and there is, uh, there is some music in it as well. So it, is, it, is, uh, it doesn't mean that free verse is actually free from the poetic content. There is a lot of poetic content involved in free verse even. You can write a poetry in any form uh, which attracts you, which, which suits your intuition and taste. Uh, you can tell stories uh, through poems about uh, your past experiences. Uh, you can make uh, confessional tales. Uh, you can tell people uh, about various events which uh, occur around you, about your innermost feelings. And you can also lock onto one object or experience and tell an audience uh, about it in great details. Uh, but writing poetry would, also, uh, would always involve a lot of uh, emotional uh, content. And you need to feel about the objects. You need to see them in detail, feel them in detail, while you want to write about them. Uh, your task is to find the poems uh, you want to write the ones uh, you are capable of writing well. So you must be able to uh, recognize the things which you can actually feel about and, and the things or, or the topics or, or the areas you think you can write well. So this, all these skills would be helpful for, helpful for you in writing good pieces of poetry.